Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mubarak Yusuf from the fifth semester, Department of Architecture. And I am Nurulan Zahid from the fifth semester, Department of Textile Design. On behalf of the Indus Valley School of Art and Architecture, we warmly welcome you to the 28th Convocation Ceremony. Thank <laughs> you. 
I now request the guests to rise and join our students for the national anthem. Students, under the guidance of Ustad Ehtishamuddin Hussain, will present the national anthem. I now request the registrar to come up to the rostrum so that we can officially begin the proceedings. May I request the Chair Board of Governors to declare the convocation open. I declare the convocation open. We begin the proceedings with the recitation of the Holy Quran from Surah Al-Asr by Muzammil Farooq, third semester, Department of Architecture, followed by the translation by Adina Irfan, third semester, Department of Architecture. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. By the time, indeed, mankind is in loss, except for those who have believed and done righteous deeds and advised each other to truth and advised each other to patience. The Dean and Executive Director of the Indus Valley School of Art and Architecture, Dr. Faiza Mushtaq, will present the welcome address. Chair of the Board of Governors, Mr. Ehsan M. Salim, members of the Board and the Executive Committee, faculty members, distinguished guests, and the graduating class of 2020. <laughs> Welcome to the 28th convocation of IVS. This year, we are honoring the achievements of 128 students who are passing out as the batch of 2021. You join the 2030 alumni who have graduated from IVS before you and are now poised to carry on this legacy in your own unique ways. I know you have not had an easy last year and had to deal with many disruptions due to COVID, from a back and forth between online, in-person and hybrid classes to a delayed convocation ceremony. We were all very glad that we were able to have an on-campus degree show after a gap of one year and were able to showcase, showcase the brilliant thesis work produced by all of you. So congratulations on reaching this milestone today. I look forward to seeing all the ways in which you will contribute to society as artists, designers, and architects, and will keep making your faculty, your parents, and your school proud. 
After the pandemic turned the year 2020 upside down, it has been heartening to see campus life return to its usual vibrancy, slowly but surely over 2021. There have been many activities and achievements that our students, faculty and alumni have been part of, and I will report on just a small selection of them here today. Our total intake for all undergraduate programs stands at 210 students every year. The number of permanent faculty members at the school has increased to 62, with close to 100 adjunct faculty members. In addition to our one graduate and six undergraduate degree programs, the Continuing Education Program is also offering exciting new workshops, short courses, and diplomas that support professional growth, creative exploration, and community engagement. Conservation work on the historic Nusavanji building was recently completed, led by the Sindh Exploration and Adventure Society and supported by the United States Consulate in Karachi and the U.S. Ambassador's Fund for Cultural Preservation. A number of our permanent faculty recently completed the graduate degrees, including Alfia Halai, Amir Mirza, Umme Laila Hassan, Nuraya Sheikh Nabi, Alia Yusuf and Sana Burney. Muhammad Umar Rahman is currently pursuing his graduate studies in the UK. Faculty members who exhibited their work in solo shows over 2021 include Usman Ansari, Danish Ahmed, Munawar Ali Sayyid, Arsalan Nasir, Afan Bakhpati, and Adilu Zafar. Some of these same <clears throat> individuals also showed their work in group exhibitions as did others like Seher Naveed, Nuraya Sheikh Nabi, <laughs> Alia Yusuf, Umar Wasim, Shahana Rajani, and Sadia Saleem. Students from the Fashion Design Program participated in the China Graduate Fashion Week 2021. Students from the Architecture Department wrote, designed, and produced the second Architecture Department journal last year, working with faculty member Maham Khurshid. Students from the MPhil and Art and Design program showcased their ongoing work in the IVS gallery under the title Narratives of Time, Place, Process, and Practice. Abdullah Khan and Nabiha Rehan from Communication Design had their short film, Backpack, selected for the Gandhara Independent Film Festival. Over the summer of 2021, the IVS Gallery hosted the House of Kull Residency as part of the international art project Kull, running concurrently in Colombo, Karachi, and Berlin. All of last year, we worked hard on the fourth volume of Hybrid, the interdisciplinary journal published by IVS, which is about to come out next week. We also implemented a new official policy for protection against harassment and discrimination, set up two new committees under the policy, and conducted training and sensitization sessions for students, faculty, and staff. The school is taking seriously its commitment towards creating a safe and inclusive campus environment where all are free to learn and work without interference. During 2021, 18.15 million rupees were made available as financial assistance and scholarships to 140 students in the undergraduate and graduate programs. For this year, 2022, IVS has made a fresh commitment to provide financial assistance to 152 students with a total expected disbursement of 21.66 million rupees. Generous support from our community of donors and well-wishers ensures that the school can provide access to all deserving students, regardless of their economic background. Some of our community engagement projects included the Fine Art Department's collaboration with the St. Patrick's Cathedral, where faculty and students worked on the successful restoration of 14 historic relief works. Foundation program faculty member Munawar Ali Sayyid, who was also involved in this project, worked with the NGO Soch on a beach cleaning activity at Seaview, where he reused the trash to create a 15-foot sculpture. 
architecture students and alumni are working on a COVID-19 memorial that will go up soon at a public site in Karachi in partnership with the KMC and Dr. Saad Niaz. Their design was selected after they won a design competition organized by the architecture department, where 20 student groups participated. Two of our founders, Shahid Abdullah and Noor Jahan Bilgarami, were the project lead and curator respectively for the Pakistan Pavilion at the Dubai Expo 2020, which has earned much praise. <laughs> IVS faculty members Priya Panjani and Afan Bhagpati also contributed to it. Now we come to some awards that IVS community members have won recently. Two IVS founders, architect Shahid Abdullah and architect Sayyid Akil Bilgarami, have been listed as recipients of the civil award Sitara Imtiaz to be awarded by the President of Pakistan on 23rd March 2022, recognizing their accomplishments and exemplary contributions to their fields. Architecture student Miraj Najam Khan won the Institute of Architects Pakistan, IAP's 9th Qasar Bashir Ahmed Award for Socially Responsible Architecture for her thesis. <laughs> IVS graduates Dania Kamal and Farishte Zaira Zaidi were given honorable mentions for the 13th cycle of the IAP Graduate Award for their thesis. Fine art graduate Nuren Imam won the 2021 Bloomsbury uh, Festival Art Competition and another fine art graduate Khadija Akhtar won second prize at the Arjumand Painting Award 2021. <laughs> Faculty member Afan Bhagpati won the ADA, the Art Design and Architecture Award in the category of Sculpture for 2021, while IVS alum Ahmed Mia received the ADA Award 2021 in the interior design category. There are currently two international grants that IVS has won and under which activities are being conducted. The first is the U.S.-Pakistan University Partnerships Grant administered by the U.S. Educational Foundation in Pakistan. Tazin Hussain from the Communication Design Department is leading this project on critical design education and practice. The second is a grant awarded by the British Council under the Pakistan-UK New Perspectives Initiative to IVS and the UK Asian Film Festival. Faculty member Adilu Zafar is leading the project from IVS where Three Pakistani and two UK artists will be mentored and will produce new digital art under the theme of reimagining freedom. I want to wrap up by thanking the entire team that made it possible for us to conduct this convocation ceremony as well as the one held yesterday. Mr. Omer Saeed, Mr. Atif Salman, Ms. Sana Nakvi, and every member of the administrative staff. The convocation committee consisting of faculty members Imrana Shahriyar, Nuraya Sheikh Nabi, and Tazeen Hussain, and all the student volunteers. My immense gratitude to all of you once again. Finally, it gives me great pleasure to announce the keynote speaker for the 28th IVS convocation. On behalf of IVS graduates, the faculty, the Board of Governors, and the Executive Committee, it is my privilege to welcome Mr. Imran Aslam to speak to us today. <laughs> Mr. Imran Aslam is a veteran journalist, script writer, and political analyst known for, known for his creative vision and relentless energy. He was editor of The Star, the trailblazing evening newspaper in the 1980s. And in 1990, he helped found the news. He has written numerous memorable plays for television and stage, as well as advertising jingles and a film, and has also acted on the stage and TV. He was part of the team that launched GEO and continues as president of the Geo Television Network, where he oversees content for Geo News, Geo Entertainment, ARG, and Geo Super. I now invite Mr. Imran Aslam to the rostrum to deliver his keynote address for the convocation. Thank you.
honorable governors, respected faculty, Dr. Faisal Mushtaq, ladies and gentlemen, and my fellow artisans, who are the custodians of our collective aesthetics. A very good morning. As a journalist, normally, I work 9 to 5, which is 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. <laughs> so if I put you to sleep or fall asleep myself, I apologize. Amir Khusro ko paraphrase karne ki jasarat kar raha hoon. Aaj aapke nijam ne mere sare rang badal diya hai. Apne hi rang mein mujhe aap logo ne dhal diya hai. Mujhe girvi rakh diya hai is is a tapadai se. I'm truly touched and moved and humbled and honored. I feel like I've been granted citizenship to the Indus Valley. Thank you very much once again. I invoke Khusro because he was possibility personified. He was the being that became. He was the being who conjured up language. He tied knots in the air to produce music and used nonsense syllables to invent the haunting tarana, which still throbs in our hearts to this day, delighting us, inviting us every moment. He conceived what was unseen. He celebrated the capricious seasons and the rituals of marriages, the agony of separation, and the ecstasy of spiritual consummation. He synthesized, he broke paradigms and smashed narrow, hidebound, moribund templates. He dyed himself in the colors of diversity, which is something that we must all strive for, the colors of diversity. And he brought the hands that often pray, looking upwards, and brought those hands together in an absolutely wonderful method which clapped and formed the basis of the Kavali. So those hands that were up in the air were suddenly brought together to give us the crescendo that we were looking for. He crossed boundaries, created a syncretic culture with his unique eclectic tastes. He was a riddle and he knew the answers. He was the rhyme and he understood the reason. His was the inward journey of the artist who confronts a blank canvas, a bed of untouched plaster, stone in its rugged form, and the surfaces of wood and earth and metal and textiles waiting to emerge into something else. They're yearning to move from conception, which we call takdeer, to production, which is ijad. And finally, when the image, the imagination fired up in that eureka moment, a transposition of the vision into tasweer. And that is the tasweer that we must all finally walk towards, following Khusro and trying to find the Khusro within you. जब कोरा कागज घूरे मुझको कलम मेरा बल खाए कोरा कागज घूरे मुझको कलम मेरा बल खाए शेर सुखन का कैसा रेला मन से बहता जाए This morning I sense the flood you will become It is your moment you are on the cusp of moving with energy and creating the soil where seeds will be planted for artistic germination. But just go out there with a roar, with the inner thirst of the river, madly seeking, seeking the ocean as it meanders down 
with glacial elegance, seeking, stumbling, trickling, sinuously, winding through natural boundaries and barriers. It is an adventure we call life, an adventure that awaits all of you. And hopefully you are now equipped to face it head on. I stand here wondering how I came to this podium to address your future. What are the moments in my own life that have created this opportunity to speak to you? Life is a sentence which ends with the finality of a full stop. And in this sentence to existence, cluttered with words and adverbs, adjectives, all sorts of emojis, there are moments, brief as commas, that sustain us. And those are the commas that we have to look for. I have learned as a writer and as a journalist to fiercely defend the right to space, to ward off all attempts to stereotype, to dictate and deny debate, dissent and discussion. To battle against censorship, all types of censorship, the worst of which is commercial censorship and the other one is self-censorship. So we learned how to write and smuggle subversion between the lines to try and confront orthodoxy in all its debilitating forms and to refuse with an agnostic's passion the denial of rational debate, discussion and dissent. So mine was a struggle for dialogue in an environment where a monologue endeavored to dominate and impose a dull uniformity. And I use the word uniformity with a purpose. When violence becomes a sole voice in an atmosphere of hushed silences, I try not to become a cynic about the absurdity of the human condition and find in humor and satire a balm to keep the spirit alive and willing. It has been a journey I have enjoyed and the battles of the past and the present. And in this struggle to cast away the shackles of the mind, I realized that freedom is just another thing when you have nothing else to lose. It might sound very stark, but we hate the slow pace of evolution because we have a revolutionary DNA in our system. But those incremental changes that you will be able to effect, cherish those and cherish those smiles that come when you have achieved something of that sort. Cherish these smiles when the artist in you will confront brutal attacks on your ego. You will see rejection slips the critics dismissive words, the empty galleries where your forlorn masterpieces will be hanging, a lack of understanding of your worth and the patron's unbearable demands. You carry within you a spark, a light, a fire. You are all Prometheus, all of you. And it is a stolen fire that provides us with the bonfires around which we gather and sit and talk about mythologies, about stories, and about the original sin, which is imagination. So pick up your brushes, join the fray. Those brushes that are glistening with a dab of fresh palettes, with your chisel sharpened by vision, with your clay awaiting the next Kuzagar. Embrace technology by all means, but never abandon the kinetic. The warm embrace, the sense of community, emotions and feelings 
humankind must remain true to the sentiments that nurture it. Yahan kaiso kohakan ki azmaish hai. Yahan daro rasan ki azmaish hai. Yahan sheikh o brahman ki azmaish hai. These are the struggles that await you as you walk into the brave new world. There will be attempts to snatch away your imagination. I remember when I was incarcerated many, many years ago in a prison in Mach. I woke up one day after 10 days of sensory deprivation to suddenly believe that I couldn't read anymore. I couldn't feature or figure out what an alphabet was. And they had snatched away my ability to read. It was one of the most horrible things that I've ever experienced. And then in that prison cell, I found a small packet, in fact, just a fragment of a packet, of a McLean's toothpaste packet. And I picked it up and suddenly I was able to see that it had so many percentages of chlorophyll mm -hmm. and it brought back the ability to read. So don't ever let anybody snatch your imagination. <laughs> this country needs music. It needs the blossoming of colors. It needs forms of beauty that can banish the ugliness of imposed landscapes. It cries out for the appreciation of diversity and indigenous crafts. It needs the healing touch which only you as the artisans can provide to this festering wound. Always look out for that little fragment of that toothpaste packet because it is there and it will come back if you manage to find it and pick it up. I leave you with Omar Khayyam, who I believe was the greatest anarchist and somebody that I love to follow. Our love, could thou and I with fate conspire? Our love, could thou and I with fate conspire to grasp the sorry scheme of things entire? Would not we shatter it to bits and then remold it nearer to the heart's desire. And that is what all of you should aspire to. Congratulations. Go and remold. You are tomorrow. And may your God go with you. Thank you. I request the Dean and Executive Director, Dr. Faiza Mushtaq, to escort the Chair of the Board of Governors, Mr. Ehsan M. Salim, to the front of the stage for the award of degrees. The Interim Head of the Department of Architecture, Ms. Priya Pinjani, will read the citations and present the candidates from the Department of Architecture to the Chair of the Board of Governors for the award of degrees. Mr. Chairman, I present to you the students who have been examined and have qualified for the degree of Bachelor of Architecture in the Faculty of Architecture, to which I pray they be admitted. Okay. Anas Faisal, passed with distinction in thesis and overall distinction. Anusha Khan. Anusha Mansoor. Bisma Saraj, passed with overall distinction. Hifsa Kaleem.
Javeria Zubair. Manur Javad. Mohammed Saif Ali. Umar Shahzad. Kazi Mohammed Abdul Rafi. Reba Tehseen Ahmed. Rashmeen Azhar Khan. Saadia Hussain. Safi Mansoor Khalil, passed with distinction in thesis and overall distinction. Sayyid Mohammed Fawaz, passed with overall distinction. Umay Ayman, passed with overall distinction. Umay Abiyah Mehdi, passed with overall distinction. Zara Hussain, passed with overall distinction. Zoya Azam. And Zoya Nasir. The head of the Department of Interior Design, Mr. Muhammad Usman Ansari, will read the citations and present the candidates from the Department of Interior Design to the Chair of the Board of Governors for the award of degrees. Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Chairman, I present to you the students who have been examined and have qualified for the degree of Bachelor of Interior Design in the Faculty of Architecture, to which I pray they be admitted. Anusha Rahman, passed with distinction in thesis. <laughs> Fatma Amanullah. <laughs> Hayatun Naja. Kanza Sami Siddiqui. <laughs> Maha Riaz. <laughs> Mariam Sahel. Mashal Imran. <laughs> Mishal Rai. <laughs> Muhammad Uzair, passed with distinction in thesis and overall distinction. Palvasha Shahrukh. <laughs> Rimpal Thadani. <laughs> Seher Iftikhar.
and Vanisa Ali. Thank you. The head of the Department of Communication Design, Ms. Alpia Halai, will read the citations and present the candidates from the Department of Communication Design to the Chair of the Board of Governors for the award of degrees. Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Chairman, I present to you the students who have been examined and have qualified for the degree of Bachelor of Communication Design in the Faculty of Design to which I pray they be admitted. Abbas Mehdi. Arisha Qureshi. Basir Ahmed. Bushra Hashim. <laughs> Farwa Hussain. <laughs> Fatima Tahir Pishawarwala, passed with distinction in thesis and overall distinction. Hafza Ashfaq, pass with overall distinction. <laughs> Hanadi Khan. <laughs> Harim Shahid, pass with overall distinction. Hava Riaz passed with distinction and thesis. Imran Zafar. Kainat Zulfikar passed with overall distinction. Lamia Kezar. Maham Mazhar. Maham Sumru pass with distinction in thesis. Mahnoor Khan Varsi. Maria Mudar, pass with overall distinction. <laughs> Mariam Ali, pass with overall distinction. <laughs> Mariam Aslam Khan. Mina Naseem Niazi, pass with overall distinction. I would like to add, Mina is carrying on the legacy as her mother, Moina Niazi, is part of the first graduating batch of IVS in 1995. Muhammad Shiz Khan, pass with overall distinction. Muhammad Danish. <laughs> Muhammad Jawad Ali Nadim. <laughs> Mr. 
Rabia Mustafa passed with distinction in thesis and overall distinction. Ramsha Faisal Dyer passed with distinction in thesis and overall distinction. Reza Qureshi. Sabina Sayed. Shanze Najam passed with overall distinction. Shumaiza Sohail Sheikh. Sayyida Fatma Zehra Rizvi passed with overall distinction. Tarnaish Maherar Mehta. Umama Zubair Mirza passed with overall distinction. Yamaima Teresa Bagnate. Thank you. The head of the Department of Textile Design, Ms. Saveen Munir Bhavani, will read the citations and present the candidates from the first graduating batch of fashion design program to the chair of the Board of Governors for the award of degrees. Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Chairman, I present to you the students who have been examined and have qualified for the degree of Bachelor of Fashion Design in the Faculty of Design, to which I pray they be admitted. Ada Zera Sabzwari, pass with overall distinction. Alize Bashir, Aliza, sorry. Alishpa Ramiz. <laughs> Geetanjali. <laughs> Hafsa ZM Khan, passed with overall distinction. Mehek Murad Shah. <laughs> Muba Anas. <laughs> Mukaddisa Abro. <laughs> Noshin Suhail. Neha Vaseem Bhatt. Nozat Avan. Seher Ayaz. Shafak Arshad Avan. And finally, Surat Fatima Bhatti. Ms. Saveen Munir Bhavani will now read the citations and present the candidates from the textile design program to the chair of the Board of Governors for the award of degrees. 
Mr. Chairman, I present to you the students who have been examined and have qualified for the degree of Bachelor of Textile Design and four-year diploma in textile design in the Faculty of Design, to which I pray they be admitted. Alishpa Naeem. Ammar Hassan. Arij Ansari, pass with overall distinction. Aruba Rizvi. Aisha Malik. Bhaktavar Talpur. Dua Vasil Kareem, pass with overall distinction. Fatma Rafiq Ansari. Hafsa Hai, pass with overall distinction. Hania Abdul Rahman, pass with overall distinction. Ikra Anwar Lari. Kanza Nasser. Khatija Rahman. Maha Salman. Maham Adnan. Mahin. Manur Baloch. Maro Katif. Nabil Ahmed Sadiqi, Diploma in Textile Design, Pass with Overall Distinction. Ramsha Aftab Bhatti, Pass with Overall Distinction. Rida Mahar. Sabika Kesar. Sadia Tarek. Suheba Samad Zindani. Tazeen Anwar. Vajiha Khan, pass with overall distinction. Varda Fatma. And finally, Yusra Asad, diploma in textile design. Thank you. The head of the Department of Fine Art, 
Mr. Hernaveed will read the citations and present the candidates from the Department of Fine Art to the Chair of the Board of Governors for the award of degrees. Mr. Chairman, I present to you the students who have been examined and have qualified for the degree of Bachelor of Fine Art in the Faculty of Fine Art to which I pray they be admitted. Anyat Hassan, Afia Asif, SR Abbas, Aliza Ghaffar, Amna Sadek Feroz, pass with distinction in thesis. Ariba Akhlaq. Aswad Anis. Bilal Jabbar. Bushra Zishan. Hafsa Moin. Inshal Tahir. Manahil Khurram. Mashal Amjad. Rabia Adnan Khan. Saad Ali Kazi. Sumbal Khan Baloch. Sayyid Amin Udin. Sayyida Huda Termizi. Tasneem Kaiser. Omena Khan. The Registrar will request the Chair, Board of Governors, for the acceptance of the degrees. May I request the Chair of the Board of Governors to accept the candidates to their respective degrees. Will the graduating students please rise to receive your acceptance. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the Chair of the Board of Governors of this school, I admit you to your respective degrees and charge you that in the conduct of your life and in your conversation and deeds, you do prove yourselves worthy of the same. Thank you, Mr. Ehsan M. Salim. I request the Dean and Executive Director, Dr. Faiza Mushtaq, to accompany our honored guest, Mr. Imran Aslam, who will present the awards in different categories.
instituted in memory of Dr. Salima Zaman Siddiqui. This award is conferred upon a student of the graduating class for carrying out outstanding research in the final research paper. With a distinction in the final research paper, the Dr. Salim Zaman Siddiqui Award for the year 2021 goes to Umme Eman from the Department of Architecture. The Abu Shamim RF Award, sponsored by the Foundation of the Museum of Modern Art, Pharma, is instituted in memory of Abu Shamim RF and is given to the graduating student for the best research in the Department of Fine Art. The award carries a cash prize of rupees 20,000. The Abu Shamim RF Award for the year 2021 goes to Mashal Amjad. <laughs> The Aga Hassan Abidi Award, sponsored by the Infaq Foundation, is instituted in memory of Aga Hassan Abidi. This award is given to the graduating student of the Architecture Department who has achieved the highest overall cumulative GPA. The award carries a cash prize of Rs. 200,000 with a cumulative GPA of 3.54. The 2021 Aga Hassan Abidi Award goes to Umme Eman. The Zahurul Akhlaq Award, instituted in memory of the renowned artist Zahurul Akhlaq, is awarded to the best drawing portfolio of a graduating student in the Department of Fine Art. The 2021 Zahurul Akhlaq Award goes to Bushra Zishan. <laughs> The Tharyani Award for Architectural Design Excellence has been initiated in recognition of the countless years of service to architectural practice and to architectural education by the Tharyani family of architects. This award is given to a graduating student of architecture with the highest cumulative grade point average in eight design studios following the foundation program. It carries a cash award of Rs. 50,000 along with a certificate of appreciation. For achieving a CGPA of 3.89 in eight architecture design studios, this award for the year 2021 goes to Safi Mansoor Khalil. <laughs> In recognition of Samina Qureshi, an influential artist, designer, author, and educator, the Samina Qureshi Award for the Most Outstanding Portfolio is awarded to a student of Communication Design Department who demonstrated a high level of academic zeal and outstanding execution of projects as reflected through the portfolio. The award carries a cash prize of Rs. 25,000. The Samina Qureshi Award for the year 2021 goes to 
Hafsa Ashfaq. The annual Jalaluddin Ahmad Award was instituted last year in recognition and memory of Jalaluddin Ahmad's lifelong devotion to the cause of the arts and his close association with the Indus Valley School of Art and Architecture. The award comes with a cash prize of Rs. 50,000 and is awarded to the graduating student from the Fine Art Department who has achieved the highest cumulative GPA. The annual Jalaluddin Ahmad Award for the year 2021 goes to Mashal Amjad. The Sher Aswandiyar Khan Cash Award of Rs. 50,000 is awarded to a graduating student of the Fine Art Department for achieving the highest marks in thesis jury. The Sher Asfandiyar Khan Award for the Department of Fine Art for the year 2021 goes to Amna Sadiq Feroz. From this year onwards, another Sher Aspandiyar Khan Cash Award of Rs. 50,000 is being added for the Department of Interior Design to honor the graduating student with the highest marks in the thesis. The first ever Sher Aspandiyar Khan Award for the Department of Interior Design for the year 2021 goes to Anushe Rahman. Thank you, Mr. Imran Aslam, for presenting these awards. Distinction awards are given to graduating students who have achieved a cumulative grade point average of 3.25 and above. This year, 30 students will receive this award. The chair of the Board of Governors, Mr. Ehsan M. Salim, is requested to present these awards. The distinction awards are presented in ascending order of CGPA. Muhammad Shiz Khan, Department of Communication Design with a CGPA of 3.26. Umama Zubair Mirza, Department of Communication Design with a CGPA of 3.26. Dua Wasil Karim, Department of Textile Design with a CGPA of 3.27. Sayyid Muhammad Fawaz Kamran, Department of Architecture with a CGPA of 3.27. Nabil Ahmed Siddiqui, Department of Textile Design with a CGPA of 3.28. Arij Ansari, Department of Textile Design with a CGPA of 3.29. <laughs> 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 
Ada Zehra Sabzwari, Department of Fashion Design with a CGPA of 3.30. Anas Pesel, Department of Architecture with a CGPA of 3.31. Kainat Zulfikar, Department of Communication with a CGPA of 3.31. Mariam Ali, Department of Communication Design with a CGPA of 3.31. Ramsha Aftab Bhatti, Department of Textile Design with a CGPA of 3.32. Hafsa Hai, Department of Textile Design with a CGPA of 3.34. Umme Abiha Mehdi, Department of Architecture with a CGPA of 3.36. Harim Shahid, Department of Communication Design with a CGPA of 3.37. Ramsha Faisal Dyer, Department of Communication Design with a CGPA of 3.37. Zahra Hussain, Department of Architecture with a CGPA of 3.37. Shanzi Najam, Department of Communication Design with a CGPA of 3.38. Bisma Siraj, Department of Architecture with a CGPA of 3.39. Maria Mudder Nathani, Department of Communication with a CGPA of 3.40. Sayyida Fatima Zahra Rizvi, Department of Communication Design with a CGPA of 3.40. Muhammad Uzair, Department of Interior Design with a CGPA of 3.41. Hania Abdul Rahman, Department of Textile Design with a CGPA of 3.45.
Fatima Tahir Peshawarwala, Department of Communication Design with a CGPA of 3.48. Safi Mansoor Khalil, Department of Architecture with a CGPA of 3.49. Hafsa ZM Khan, Department of Fashion Design with a CGPA of 3.51. Bajiha Khan, Department of Textile Design with a CGPA of 3.52. Umme Eman, Department of Architecture with a CGPA of 3.54. Hafsa Ashfaq, Department of Communication Design with a CGPA of 3.56. Mina Naseem Niazi, Department of Communication Design with a CGPA of 3.59. For achieving the highest CGPA of 3.60, the Distinction and Valedictorian Award goes to Rabia Mustafa of the Department of Communication Design. Thank you, Mr. Ehsan M. Saleem. The valedictorian, Rabia Mustafa, will now present her valedictory speech. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum and good morning, teachers, parents, and fellow graduates. I'm Rabia Mustafa from the Communication Depart uh, Design Department, and it's an honor for me to be speaking here today. There have been multiple ups and downs in these recent times as whole semesters went online due to COVID and we were thrown into unfamiliar realms trying to navigate through remote learning and that too, remote learning, art and design. We were thrown into even more uncertainty when this convocation got postponed earlier due to the rising COVID cases in our city. And even worse was the horrifying prospect of an online convocation, since after having classes on Google Meet for more than a year, none of us wanted our graduation to also be on an online platform. In retrospect, however, that might have been easier for me, as then I would be giving this speech from the comfort of my room, in front of my laptop screen, rather than here standing in front of around 300 to 400 people. But uh, despite all hurdles, we pushed through and we are here. So congratulations, class of 2021.
after all those sleepless nights, those multiple stacks of assignments to do in such little time, those last minute mess ups, those printer runs, those multiple final then done, then finally done PSD files, those high stress levels and breakdowns towards the end of semester, you all did it. We all finally did it. I believe most of us came to this school not knowing what it was going to take of us, not knowing how it will transform us, not comprehending what the school and art itself will begin to mean for us. It was only when we got here we realized how being creative drove us, how it excited us, how it challenged us, and how much we loved being challenged. It was only when we got here we realized how powerful this creative drive can actually be, how it can help enable others, how it can empower, how it can bring about change. As artists and designers, we elevate change with our creative work. We mold clay, we paint canvases, we create experiences. This school in these past four years helped us inculcate the skills and knowledge required to bring about change with the creative work that we do. And for this, we are thankful to everyone here. All of the ups and downs and all of those days, the happy, the sad, the grueling, the gratifying, have culminated in a very deserved today and so many memories. And none of them would have been possible without all the staff, the security guards, without the librarian, the cafeteria staff, the administrative staff, and last but definitely not the least, Munir Bhai and Habib at Paris. <laughs> and also Badal Bhai from the CD department. Thank you for making every day possible for us and thank you to the phenomenal faculty. Thank you for relentlessly and tirelessly pushing us forward even when we push back or complain quite loudly sometimes. Your understanding nature and unwavering support was essential to our achievements today. Thank you to friends like family and to those who are even happier than we're today. To our parents and our loved ones, we couldn't have done this without you. We remain indebted to you for all the sacrifices you made to get us where we are today. All these accolades demonstrate that indeed it takes a village for one to succeed. So thank you all for playing a part in our creative journey. It's almost like we as artists and designers have been transformed into these magicians who can see what others cannot, who can help come up with solutions for problems that previously remain unsolved, and who can change history with one small idea. So let's begin to change history one idea at a time. Let's aim to inspire the world to notice and then alter its behaviors. And let's mark today as a beginning and not an end. Over the past two years, we have been living history, so it's high time that you and I go and start to play our part in this history. So, I cannot wait to see all that you achieve, the magic that you create, the change that you can lead to. Here's to new beginnings. Thank you. I now request the Dean and Executive Director, Dr. Faiza Mushtaq, to make the announcement for the Founders Award. The Founders Award is presented to a graduating student who has not only excelled in his or her academic performance, but who also showed a strong commitment to the school and the chosen profession, participated in extracurricular activities within and outside the school, has been, has been humble, open-minded, and mature in dealings with faculty members and with fellow students. In other words, this award gives recognition to the graduate who most closely reflects the philosophy of the school as envisaged by the founders. May I request Mrs. Shanaz Ismail, one of the founders of the Indus Valley School, to come and present the Founders Award. Mm -hmm. This year, the Founders Award is being given to two students. The Founders Award for the year 2021 goes to Wajiha Khan, Department of Textile Design. Yeah. 
hand to Mohammad Uzair, Department of Interior Design. <laughs> I now request the Dean and Executive Director, Dr. Faiza Mushtaq, to make the announcement for the Alumni Award. The IVS Alumni Award is sponsored by the IVS Alumni Association. It appreciates a thesis design project which is embedded in social awareness and shares responsibility for a better tomorrow, an initiative that follows our founder's vision. May I request Ms. Maha Javed Shishti, Vice President of the IVS Alumni Association, to come on the stage to present the Alumni Award. <laughs> this year, the IVS Alumni Award is being given to two students. In addition, two students also receive honorable mentions. So the honorable mentions are Muhammad Uzair from the Department of Interior Design. The second honorable mention is from Maryam Aslam Khan from the Department of Communication Design. The first recipient of the IVS Alumni Award for the year 2021 is Ramsha Faisal Dyer from the Department of Communication Design. <laughs> and the second recipient of the IVS Alumni Award for 2021 is Vajiha Khan from the Department of Textile Design. I now request the Chair of the Board of Governors, Mr. Ehsan M. Salim, to present the concluding remarks. Mr. Imran Aslam, our guest of honor, members of the board, founders, Dean and Executive Director, Dr. Faiza Mushtaq, and class of 2021. Woo! Sorry, <laughs> and the faculty, of course. <laughs> parents, the proud parents and all your loved ones. Actually, it is your day because graduation day is a monumental milestone in your life. We are sorry that we had to delay the graduation day, but Alhamdulillah, it is taking place now and in person. I want you to know that we all are honored to be part of your special day. And we are also honored that we are able to cheer you on, along with your parents and your loved ones. Now, one big dream has come true. It's time to start the next big one. So, a little word of advice. Um, 
because it's your day, so I'm only speaking to you. Uh, that your next big one must be packed with courage. Courage to actually follow your heart and your intuition. Some of you may know exactly what you want to do, but I suspect some have no idea. For those who don't have it all figured out, I want you to know that it's okay. Most of us standing before you today did not have it planned in our early 20s. Life can be a puzzle that you figure, figure out piece by piece. Eventually, it will come all together. Take the time to figure out your life and take the time to figure out what is really meaningful for you. As you embark on your journey of self-discovery, know that your interests and skills will change from time to time. Your visions of the perfect job will also evolve. Enjoy the process. Keep moving forward. Be open to trying out new things. Embrace the opportunities that come your way. Build layers of experience that will lead you to doing what is right for you. It may take many years to do that. Pay attention to what, your, what fuels you versus what consumes you and make a deliberate attempt to shift your towards doing more of the first. Now, I'm not asking you to be rash, but I'm asking you not to play safe. Uh, you have to be bold and you have to be creative and you don't have to be afraid of failure because you only have to be prepared to pick yourself up if you fail because that is itself a very uh, in itself failure is a learning process i request you to believe in yourself and believe that you can accomplish anything you want you have to set your mind to it and you also have to have a passion for it. I want you to know that we believe in you. Your faculty believes in you. The school believes in you. And we only want to advise you to stay focused, work hard, achieve your goals and surround yourself with people who love and respect and those who believe in you and your dreams because they are the people who will back you up. I'm sure Indus Valley School has taught you many things, but most of all, it has taught you to think, to be critical, to be curious, to be disciplined, and how to meet many hurdles you will encounter on your journey through life. Please draw from that. Go out and achieve great things. But in doing so, treat others with respect. Don't drag someone down in, to advance yourself. Work towards a goal with an unwavering commitment to honesty, integrity, and doing the right thing. Let your actions be guided by your moral compass pointing towards the true north in a manner that will make your parents and your loved ones and your alma mater proud of you. I'm confident that you are ready, willing and able to make the positive impact on the world around you. We wish you the best as you step ahead towards your new challenges in life. Be proud of the moment. You deserve it for all the effort and dedication that you have invested. One last thing about leadership, because in whatever you do in your real life, we expect you to be leaders. And the leaders are humble and leaders are resilient. And that 
is an example of leadership which our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, has taught us. Thank you very much. The Registrar will now request the Chair, Board of Governors, Mr. Ehsan M. Salim, to declare the convocation closed. May I request the Chair of the Board of Governors to declare the convocation closed. I declare the convocation closed. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly remain seated until after the academic procession departs. The graduating students are requested to reassemble near the turtle pond for the tree planting ceremony immediately after the departure of the procession. After the tree planting, graduating students and their family members can proceed to the IVS gallery where arrangements have been made for official photography.